Hi there, this video will be not be terribly long. I always say that, and then I'm not always telling the truth, but I try. So anyway, this video is about variables, and variables are when you see letters, like this letter K here. And substitution is when you take a number, so instead of K, you're going to take a number and substitute it in where you see the variable, or where you see the letter, okay? So here we have 4k minus 3. What that really means is 4 times some number minus 3. So 4, and instead of writing uh, the k there, I'm just going to put a bracket and then minus 3. So I'm going to substitute the 2 because it says k equals 2. Instead of a k, I'm going to put the 2 right here. I have just substituted 2 for k. Have I said that enough times? I hope I'm not confusing you. And if you know about bed mass, and maybe you've seen the other videos on the order of operations, but we have to do the multiplication first, and then we can do this minus 3 on the end. Okay, so 4 times 2, that is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. And we're done, okay? We just figured it out. Isn't that cool? So k, k when k is 2, the answer is 5. Okay? Um, let's try the next one. What if k was negative 2? Once again, write the same thing again. 4, but instead of the k, put a bracket, put the minus 3, but instead of k, I want you to write minus 2 in here. 4 times negative 2, or minus 2, I say negative 2 generally in this situation, but 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, minus 3, if we subtract these two, well, if you don't understand how to do this, make sure you watch the video on how to add or subtract integers, okay? So negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11, and we're done that question, okay? But please remember to watch those other videos if this is confusing, because that's not my goal here, is to sit and confuse you. That would be really quite a bummer. Um, so let's go to this question. 12 times a minus b, and let's substitute 5 for a, and let's substitute 6 for b. So 12, and I'm going to put a bracket here, minus another bracket. a is going to go right here, and a is 5. b is going to go right here, and b happens to be 6 in this case. 6 and b are actually kind of similar when you write them. I almost wrote a b there by accident. So 12 times 5, what is that, people? 12 times 5, well, 10 times 5 is 50, and 2 times 5 is 10. So 10 plus 50 is 60, minus 6. And then I'm going to put equal signs just to make this a little neater. 60 minus 6 is 54, and we are done. Okay, let's try the next question. Once again, 12 in brackets, a, which in this case is negative 4, minus b, which in this case is 12. So let's write the 12 where the b is and the negative 4 where the a is. What's 12 times negative 4? Again, that's a video on integers, how to multiply integers, okay? In case you don't know how to do that. But 12 times 4 should be 48, and it's not a positive 48, it is a negative 48, because a negative times a positive will always give you a negative, okay? Let me subtract 12. So negative 48 minus 12 should give us another negative number. It's cold outside, and it's getting 12 degrees even colder, 48, 58, 59, 60. It's going to be negative 60 as our final answer. Okay? Do I have any more questions? Yes. This one's a little bit more complicated. Um, first, we'll start by rewriting 4, and then in brackets, something, it's the letter T, squared, minus 2, I'm going to put it in brackets. I'm going to do a double bracket here. Squared. All that is squared. Wow. So t is 3 in this case. So I'm going to put the 3 right here and the 3 right here. And then let's see if we can solve this thing. Let's remember bed mass. So let's do exponents first. So it's not 4 times 3 here. It's 
4 times whatever 3 times 3 is, because 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. And now we have a different situation here. And that's probably why this question was created. Inside this bracket is 2 times 3, okay? And the first thing we're supposed to do when it comes to bed mass is do brackets. So let's do 2 times 3 first of all, and then we will do the exponents next, okay? Yes, I did do exponents over here earlier, and I should have probably just left that be, but I knew because there's a minus sign in between, we could just do this off to the side and then do this, and it would all work out. So I could have just left this 4 times 3 to the power of 2 right here. So I apologize if that messed you up that I did that and went right to that step. Because technically, I should have waited. So let's back it up a, stack, a step. <laughs> what is 2 times 3 inside these brackets? It is 6 squared. Okay, so I'll leave the 4 and the 9. I could actually just say that's 36, but I'm going to leave it. 6 times 6 is 36. Wow, this question, I know how it's going to work out now because 4 times 9 is 36. So our final answer is 0. Is that fun, coming down to a 0 at the end? I'm not sure. Look at this next question. It's not as easy. I think that these questions are kind of they kind of depend on what kind of course you're taking. So if this question here is way crazy for your course, you know, you don't really have to watch me do this question, but I'm going to do it for those of you that feel like, oh, my teacher does give me questions like this. So please continue. So I will continue. There we go. I just wrote the 3 over 2 inside the brackets. Minus 2 bracket. Again, 3 over 2, because there's a T here. 3 over 2, and then all of that is squared. Okay, there's a lot of videos that you might have to watch in order to do this. Um, for example, videos on exponents, videos on how to multiply fractions, but I'm going to have to assume you kind of know about that stuff if you're staying with me to watch this question. Okay. I am going to do this one and just write it right here just so that I have it simplified and I don't have to rewrite all of this. So I'm going to put the 4 here. Now when you square something, you're multiplying it by itself. So it's like 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. So 3 times 3 is 9 and four 2 times 2 is 4. So I just wanted to quickly write that there. And then inside here we have 2 times 3 over 2. I guess you're going to have to remember how to multiply fractions in this case. And of course there's videos on that. 2 times 3, we're taking 2 times 3 over 2. Remember 2 times 3 over 2 is kind of like 2 over 1 times 3 over 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2. All of that squared. I'm going to rewrite this, just 9 over 4 again. Over here, 6 divided by 2 happens to be 3, and 3 squared is 9. I'll say that again. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and when you go 3 times 3, you get 9. So that's why I'm writing the 9 there. Over here, um, 4 times 9 is 36, and on the bottom, we go 1 times 4. And let's just verbally tell you that 36 divided by 4 is 9. Okay, so this question, once again, 9 minus 9, you're going to end up with 0 once again. The good part is, it feels like we got this question right, because it boiled down to such a simple answer of 0 after all that work. I don't know. Does that make us feel good? I don't know. <laughs> um, what does feel good is that we are at the end of this video and you're looking at a black screen because there's nothing else to do. And hopefully if you've stayed with me this long, you deserve a happy face, okay? Um, have a great day and good luck on your math course, which is probably why you're watching this. Take care.